so in this video we are going to see how to take a user input for a list so welcome back folks this is Shardul Gavande from ace knowledge and let's start with our concept so in the earlier videos of list or arrays in my very start video we have seen how to create a list and add some values so here's how we create a list and add some values and if you want to print that particular list we have a print statement over here and we get our list back but what if I want to take input from user for this particular list so let's check out how we can do this so here is my python blank file which I have already created and over here first of all uh, give the name of the list so I'll give a different name as the list is already been used I'll give as list one and I'll simply create a blank I create I will create a blank list okay so there is no data in this particular list next thing which I want to do is to take an input from the user right so we have something called as input function to take an input from user so we would so we will use that over here so I'll say take a I'll take a variable as number equal to and I will pass here my int and under that I have my input function under that I will say simply enter list length so the length of the list I will take it from user first of all as in how much length the user wants to be entered uh, entered into to enter the values in the list it would be any any length 5 10 20 whatever the length user wishes to enter now once the user has entered the list length of the list the next thing he wants to enter is the numbers or simply the values in the list so we will have a print statement over here and we'll say over here as enter numbers okay and then we have done with the three still three lines of statements first declaring an empty list second getting the le list length from user and third to prompt user to enter the numbers right the next state next what we have to do is we have to use a for loop why for loop because we have to traverse through the numbers which you which the, which the user will enter and we have to print it in our list one so that is the reason we we will use for loop for loop of for loop using range statement so we for for loop using range function so we have for i in range and i will simply pass the variable number over here that means it will the value of the i will travel till the end of this particular number and what 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 is the what is number having number will be having the length of the list for example if the length of the list is 5 so it will travel till the end of the list which is 0 1 2 3 4 right so that is the reason we are using for loop over here and then under for loop we will take a variable let's say data and we'll simply pass that data which is which we have taken from user over here so int and simply input okay so now that we have done by passing the da input data into the variable variable data which is there in the for loop now we need to simply print this particular uh, data in list one so we have something called as list one dot append as function and we'll pass the variable data over here that means the value of data will be get appended or simply attached to the in in the in the list in the list okay in the given list which is list one and we'll save this thing and we'll print okay so it is saying enter the list length so let's say i am entering my length as five and the numbers which i want to enter in my list let's say one comma twenty three comma fifty six or oh, not like this i have to enter one by one so one comma 23 comma 24 comma 56 comma 78 okay now I've, i'm printing my list so let's check the uh, name of the list was list one and here i get my list with user input so the numbers which i've entered they are in my list newly created list so that's how you get user input value for a list in python so that's it from this video Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe.